हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज योर चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स फाइंडिंग द टूथब्रश दिस चैप्टर इज रिटन बाय जेरोम की जेरोम एंड ही वॉज एन इंग्लिश राइटर हुज ह्यूमरस राइटिंग इज लव टू दिस डे एंड हिज मोस्ट पॉपुलर नॉवल इज थ्री मैन इन अ बोट सो हेयर वी स्टार्ट विद द चैप्टर द स्पीकर एंड हिज टू फ्रेंड्स जॉर्ज एंड हैरिस आर गोइंग ऑन ए बोटिंग होलीडे on the river thames in england read on to find out how they managed to finish their packing it means here three characters are there speaker and his two friends named george and harris and all the three are going on a boating holiday on the river thames in england and now we have to find out that how they manage packing because it is obvious wherever we go first we have to pack the things what we needed so here also they have to finish uh, or they have to manage their packing now we can uh, we need to know that how they manage their packing we made a list of the things to be taken the next day we got them all together and met in the evening to pack we put everything in a heap in the middle of the floor sat around and looked at it it means that they made a list already that whatever things we needed they already made a list and the next day the we they got them all together or the purchase them uh, whatever they needed like a uh, clothes or edible items or whatever they things which is needed and then they met in the evening to pack and uh, they put everything in a heap here it is given that what is the meaning of heap that is untidy pile it means uh, that uh, the things just took one by one on the uh, one by one on uh, just in a row so that is the untidy pile and uh, all the things just rear uh, just put in the middle of the floor and sat around and looked at it then speaker said i said i would pack it means that that speaker said that i would pack and i am rather proud of my packing skill that i am uh, that my pack uh, that i am very proud of my packing skill and so uh, by that reason i would pack i told george and harris that they had better leave the whole matter to me and they agreed to the suggestion so readily that i was taken aback it means when i said that i do the packing then george and harris just readily or it means quickly just agree on the suggestion and just sit on the back or just take relax and by that thing george settled down in the easy chair and harris put his legs up on the table here we can also see in the picture also that uh, george is sitting on the chair and harris put the legs on the table and the speaker is packing the things this was not really what i wanted now the speaker is saying that uh, i don't want this type of thing i mean to say that you have to uh, help me under my direction it means i should boss the job that means i only give orders and directions to you that how to do the work and you both have to work under my directions however i did not say anything i started the packing uh, that uh, my lines or the my just saying is that mean but still i just don't mind it and i am not saying anything and i started packing these all lines said by speaker it seemed a longer job than i had thought but i finished packing the bag at last and i sat on it and strapped it it means uh, that uh, it seemed a longer job it means speaker thought that it would be a 2 3 hours work but now it takes a longer hours to just complete the packing but at last they finished it or he finished it and then uh, he sat and strapped it it means just close with the chain aren't you going to put the boots in said harris and after just closing the bag uh, harris said that aren't you going to put the boots in that uh, you are not boots in the suitcase or in the bag i looked around and saw that i had forgotten to pack the boots that just like 
Harris, he did not say a word while I was packing. And now he just look around and then he just saw, yes, that I forgot to, to pack the boot. But uh, then he feel, why don't he tell me uh, before? Because when I'm just packing, why don't he tell me that time? Now when I'm just complete my packing and after that, uh, he said to me that you forgotten to pack the boots. Then he waited until I had shut and strapped the bag so that I would have repo uh, I would have to reopen it. But now what? Uh, there's no other option to reopen the bag. Then I open the bag and pack the boots in. Then I open the bag and pack the boots in. And then just as I, I was going to close it and then suddenly just the moment I again close the or just strap the bag it. I had a horrible idea and what horrible idea he had that had I packed my toothbrush and is the question arised by the speaker that had I packed my toothbrush then whenever I am traveling my toothbrush makes my life miserable. It means the speaker is saying that whenever I am traveling or whenever I am going for a picnic or a boating holiday or wherever I uh, that my toothbrush makes my life uh, miserable. It means uh, confusing and uh, that most of the time I forget my toothbrush. So when I go to sleep I dream and that I have not packed it. I wake up in a cold perspiration, get out of bed and search for my toothbrush. Now, uh, next, uh, that uh, same day, uh, all the packing done, then they go to sleep. But the speaker dreamed that I not packed my toothbrush. So, he wake up in a cold perspiration. It means in a, fear, uh, in a fearful manner or just uh, uh, cover uh, the body with full sweat because of fear. So, uh, he wake up and get out of bed and search for my toothbrush that he want to know that he packed the toothbrush or not so in the morning I pack it before I have used it so I have to unpack again to get it I always have to rush upstairs for it at the last moment and finally carry it to the railway station wrapped up in a handkerchief it means in the next morning I pack it before I have used it that uh, still I am not using it now and I already packed it. So I have to unpack again because I have to use it in the morning. Then I always have to rush up upstairs for it at the last moment and then finally I carry to the railway station wrapped up in a handkerchief because he again just pack, uh, because he already unpack it so he has to unpack again and then he wrapped in a handkerchief that means a piece of a cloth I had to turn everything out now of course I could not find it now I had to turn everything so for finding the toothbrush I have to uh, turn everything out now from the bag because I could not find it I found George and Harris uh, Harris toothbrushes 18 times now there's the question that is how many times he found George and Harry's toothbrush? That is 18 times. Uh, that is speaker is saying that I could not find mine. But I found George and Harry's toothbrushes 18 times. But I could not find my own. I put the things back one by one. I held everything and shook it. Then I found it inside a boot. I packed once more. Now he uh, for the finding the toothbrush, he just looked each and everything. And he also just uh, shook it uh, the things and then he found it in a, inside a boot and then again he packed once more now this time again he do the packing when i had finished george asked if the soap was in now again when he finished george asked another question if the soap was in i said i did not care whether the soap was in then he said in a fear that angrily mood that i do i did not care that the soap is in or not i closed the bag and found that i had packed my pouch in it i had to re reopen it now again he closed the bag and then suddenly he found it that uh, I also packed my pouch. That is a small bag that is made up of a leather or a cloth. So I had to reopen it again. Now the finally all the things are just open it uh, and close it. Some things left, something missing. So finally the bag closed at 10 p.m.
we still had to pack the hampers now the bag is uh, completed but still the hampers are remaining that means a large baskets with let's it uh, in which we carry food items or the edible items harry said that he and george had better do the rest of the packing now uh, harris and george said to the speaker now you just complete your task or you complete the packing for the bag now for the hampers we are doing because now the rest of the packing we are doing and we also are good packers i agreed and i also agreed and sat down because i am too tired to just close it and open it so many times so after george harris is the worst packer in the world now it means after george harris is the worst packer worst means bad packer in the world when i looked at the piles of plates cups kettles bottles jars pies stoves cakes and tomatoes i felt that it would be fun to watch them and then uh, when i looked uh, all the things which are placed there and i felt that that it would be fun to watch them that how do they packing so it will be great to just sit around uh, them and just uh, enjoy their how they do packing now they start with breaking a cup now here the packing start or uh, that uh, who is going to pack that george and harris now the packing start by breaking a cup so first thing they start with breaking a cup then harris packed the strawberry jam on top of tomatoes now tomatoes are very soft and this thing and they put a strawberry jam that a packed strawberry jam on the top of tomatoes and squashed it so if we are putting some uh, uh, huge or heavy thing on the tomatoes obviously they just squashed it and then they had to pick out the tomato with a teaspoon now all the tomatoes is in the uh, basket and then they put uh, pick out the tomatoes with a teaspoon or with a spoon then it was george's turn and he trod on the butter now harris do this thing now it was george's turn and george what he did that he trod on the butter that means he stepped heavily on the butter and they stepped on things and they lost things they packed the pies at the bottom now which the things which are we have to just pack on the top they pack on the bottom put heavy things on the top and smash the pies I, oh, that means they all just do completely opposite thing they have to put heavy things on down and just uh, light things on top but they do opposite thing they just pack the pies at the bottom and tomatoes at the bottom so all they smashed the pies and just squashed the uh, tomatoes all the things after that they dropped salt salt over after this uh they wouldn't stop they dropped salt over everything and as for the butter i never saw two men make such a mess with so little butter in my whole life and the speaker is seeing all the scene and he is saying that for the butter i never saw in my entire life that two men just make such a mess such a trouble with so little butter in my whole life and what they did with the butter that first george dropped it on his sleeper first george dropped in on the sleeper and after he picked up he and harris thought they would keep it inside the kettle now they thought that they uh, they just keep inside the keep butter inside the kettle but all the butter would not go inside the kettle so they try to bring it out of the kettle now first they decide to put in the kettle but it is not uh, uh, worth it so they decide to bring out again from the kettle it would not come out easily because it is a butter and it just create just uh, stick on the whole kettle so it won't would not come out easily so they had to remove it with a spoon then they put down the butter on a chair harris sat on it and it stuck to him he and george went all over the room and looking for it it means they just created a big mess to all the items but still the packing was done at 12:50 harris sat on the big hamper and hoped nothing with would be broken now you can see in the picture that after packing the hamper he sat on it and he still think that nothing would be broken 
then george said he was ready for the bad we were already for bad harris was to sleep with us that night and we went upstairs so that is the story which is written by jerome k jerome that a three people are there in which two are worst packer and speaker so all the things and such many things that how they play with butter and all these things so that is the chapter thank you